hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Runo. today i'll be showing you how to cut this two in one sleeve so the straight sleeve has a pleat a, a, a ruffle at the edge and the puff also have a ruffle at the edge so these are the basic material i use i use a chantilly net fabric and then my damask fabric the fabric for the damask is what i use to cut my body this is my main body okay so this is my sleeve block i already have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve so you don't need a, a pattern for this because i have a sleeve pattern i just decided to place it instead of start instead of drafting all over because it's a net and it will be difficult you know the net is not is 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 very light so it will be difficult seeing the the chalk right okay so uh, from my chantilly i cut out the piece i'll be using for the gathers around the wrist area that the wrist is going to have gathers for the straight sleeve okay so it's from the chantilly net i cut i cut out the 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 part i cut out the straight piece for the for the ruffle at the edge of, of the wrist and then the one on the cuff okay so this uh, this fabric didn't come with savage like the scallop so i had to cut it out myself there is this scallop design inside the fabric so i had to cut that part and i measured the 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 width of the the width of the material of the of the ruffle that's what i'll be using to gather at the wrist and on the cuff part of the sleeve like th that's the the ruffle on the on the damask and then the ruffle on the net that's on the wrist okay so that is how i got so i got two pieces the one on the damask is shorter while the one on, on the wrist is longer so you need to cut to measure where you want your your sleeve to end that's for the straight sleeve and then you just take out the part you want as ruffle the part you want to gather so just subtract it from your main sleeve and then cut your normal sleeve okay so that will give you the total of your straight sleeve so this is my damask um, fabric okay so uh, it's what i have left from my from from my from the what i cut from the body so, okay so you need to fold into two i'm cutting the two the two uh, sleeve at the same time all at once okay so i folded into two first you normal and then you fold again okay so for this you don't need your pattern okay i already have this just so i saw it around and i just decided to place it you really don't need so for this uh, cuff part you 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 need to determine the length of your of the sleeve okay so you know it will you have to push it in so you don't make sure it's not very short so what i have here i think i i cut about 17 inches okay because i'll still be folding the edge right so i cut about 17 each and why the width is 20 20 on fold 20 on fold means you have 40 by the time you open it up because you know it is gathered it will you have elastic at the end okay so we want that part really fold like really full right sorry we want it really full so you can do more what i'm trying I don't want to um, exhaust the fabric because I still have something else to do with it. Okay, so just cut your normal sleeve the way you cut your normal, but this time it's like an exaggerated sleeve. So just cut it the same way. So I just use my ruler to get a straight line so it can be a bit transparent. So there's no big deal here. You don't even need this pattern. I just placed it there. But if you don't know how to cut, you can just place the pattern, then just follow it gradually and then cut. So you can see it's a normal sleeve, a normal straight sleeve. Okay, because I folded it into two, I am cutting both of them at once. So I'm cutting the edge i'm opening the bottom part so i'll have my two sleeves separate like i'll have my two sleeves together okay so this is one and then the other one so i cut the two together all right so um i i, I added my folding allowance at the edge that i cut 17 so i'm folding with one inch okay and i'm sewing half inch at the top okay so make sure you add your folding allowance so i folded it one inch i folded it first and then second so this is my sleeve so what i will do now is just to is, is just to sew the sleeve and then gather it on the wrist okay that's just it simple the straight sleeve you sew it so this is it here i've sewn it already you know how to sew a straight sleeve a straight uh, sleeve okay when you have your sleeve pattern you just sew it and then you get the piece okay so this piece is, uh, is like six inches including you know i'm not folding the edge of the net okay so just make your um um so for the so this is the puff now for the puff now after folding now you need to determine the 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 length of like the part that will be out like the the ruffle part so i'm i'm, I'm using two and a half inch so remember when you're doing two and a half inch that means the ruffle that's the net that will be on it will be more than two because it's going to extend outward so the net is about four inches you can see it's extended also look for the the right side and then place 
the right side on the wrong side of the damask of your main pattern so that by the time you finish sewing the right side of the net will be will be out will be out will, will be i'm sure you get it okay so after so after placing just run a long stitch on that two inches part a long stitch okay what that long stitch is just to is just to to attack uh, attach the net to the the base fabric okay and then because i have it longer i just have to pleat it you can do you can gather it okay if you have i don't want to cut out the excess so that i pleated it on this you can see it outside okay so this is how it is so you have the the chantilly net extending out so make sure you place it well so that you have the right side facing you okay and you'll be using elastic a small piece a, a small i think less than an inch elastic to hold Hold it so it to be firm so because this is remember it's 40 on fold okay so you need a fitted on your arm so what you need to do now is to make another gathers on that two um that part uh, we, we 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 the part we sew that net on okay so that two um, inch uh, um, part we marked in the first where we sew the net on you can make gathers there or you you pleat so me i'm pleating i don't i'm trying to be fast because i just wanted to finish it on, on time okay so i just pleated it so whatever you are pleating make sure you're pleating it the same thing you are getting the same length with the other sleeve so the, both of them will have the same fullness okay so i'm pleating it you can gather it but make sure you are you are sewing on the line where the net ends okay so you don't extend you don't go beyond it okay so and this is just to reduce the the length of the sleeve okay so that by the time you put your elastic it's going to be fitted but if you if by the time we put our elastic on that 40 inch there's no way it's going to be fitted around our uh, arm okay so we just need it firm around the arm that is why so this is me sewing my elastic so now this is how you sew your elastic now now you place you start sewing from the beginning okay from the side and then you pull you don't just sew it like that as you are sewing you pull if you don't pull it's not going to stretch you know you need it to be elastic right you need the elasticity of the of the of the of the uh, elastic okay so you pull it very very well that way you have it very close you can see how how close it is now now by the time i sew the side now i'm going to have it fitted around my arm and i can now push it up okay to form the quilt that is how you're going to do it okay so make sure you don't just sew you pull while sewing and then after which you just run the side from the top to the bottom right and then including the the bottom part of the net okay so this is what you have after sewing basically it's quite simple so you just turn it inside out and this is it so what you need to do now you can see how it is it's now is it's just for you to insert your main sleeve straight sleeve so because i've not sewn the the gathers on on the wrists of the straight sleeve so that's what i'm doing now so this is my straight sleeve that i already sewn so i will just join the side of the sleeve you can see i made sure i cut out the scallop from the net so that I'll have it on the buff and on the straight sleeve. Okay, so you sew the side after sewing the side, and then you join it to the wrist. Make sure you measure, and then whatever you measure, um, the, your measurement you take out the the gathered the the gathered part of this wrist. That is what you take out from your straight sleeve before, so that you won't have it too long and you have it too short. Okay, so what you need to do is just to gather it again. You can gather it on the wrist on the bottom part of the straight sleeve. So you can gather, you can make gathers if you have the time. You can make gathers, but make sure you sew it neatly and correctly, and be careful because it's net. And make sure you use a, a light stitch. Okay, don't use the the um, a stitch that is too too tiny if you use a tiny stitch when you have issues losing it you're going to you, you, you the net is going to tear up okay so this is it guys it's quite simple yes have you forgotten please do not forget to subscribe like this video share and leave a comment okay please if you got value don't forget to subscribe right okay so now what i'm doing is just to push the sleeve inside the cloth okay make sure the right side of the sleeve is what you are putting inside okay now you're going to match up the edge the center part that you notch make sure you notch your the center part of the cloth okay and then the center part of your sleeve that's the the edge the shoulder part right and then you pin it and then you go to down to the the part that will be on your on the on the on the armhole the bottom part of your armhole you pin it again now you have excess on the cloth that is that's the idea we need the excess so you now pleat the excess again on the 
sleeve right you need to pleat the excess you should have excess on your on the cuff on the cuff the upper part of the of the sleeve so you make sure you pleat it on your main straight sleeve okay so after pleating it round pin it and then you pleat this way pleat to the center and then continue you just continue from the other side and then you pleat to the center or you can spread the pleat make sure you spread it around okay so after pleating you can now attach it to your bodies to your bodies so if you still have excess again on the sleeve maybe the sleeve is because i still have little excess on the uh, while attaching it on the bodies what i did was just to pleat it on around my uh, the arm hole okay so the, the you won't have it is even the more excess you have the better because that is what that's the beauty of this of this type because it's actually perfect you, you shouldn't have it straight all straight and flat you should have a lot of force so you can see this is it and it's left to you to push it the way you want so you can push it in to style it okay make sure you don't leave it like that push it in that's the essence of the elastic okay so i've gone ahead to make the other one too and then what i'm doing is attaching it on the sleeve on on the armhole okay so you pin it the bottom part pin the bottom part together and then the center part of the sleeve you pin it to the shoulder that's the up top of the sleeve now using your net you make sure you remember we, we we match both the net and the and the damask fabric together so make sure you match them up and then you join them on the shoulder you notch that part pay attention you can actually chuck it so you don't get confused okay and then you start sewing so if you have excess also pleat it there's nothing like too much of excess the more the more excess you have the more pleats you have and the better the style turns out because the, it is it is the damask that is going to be showing why your sleeve will be straight inside so guys so this is it guys please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see the tutorial of the main dress the main dress is a wrapper illusion with zipper on the princess and uh, that line okay so the princess that has a zipper instead of sewing i put a zipper there so i have the tutorial i'll drop the link in the description box so like subscribe and leave a comment thank you so much for watching it's la ruby claudius